All right, so I got another late night beer review for you. Um, bit of a problem today, I found out that my production was far exceeding the number of bottles I had. So my neighbor and I, we sat down there on those on those balconies, back balconies, nice balconies here, um, nice decks. Uh, it's a townhouse and it's like two by two of the townhouses and then they have a wall. So I could sit on one side of the wall safely, he could sit on the other. I passed some beer over to him we both drank it. He loved it. He had the Irish Stout, um, which wasn't my favorite. I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. I finished off some of the Canadian Blonde. I still have a bottle. That's my favorite one so far. But here, I've got the Mexican Aztec Cerveza. And uh, I drink... I like a good um, Corona when it's not, like, skunky. You know, when it's nice and cold. Real cold. Um, I like a Dos Equis. Uh, so I like Mexican beer. Um, I like Modelo, although that's, I think, a little bit of a different style. But anyways, Aztec um, Cerveza, very excited to try this. Um, I use the sugar, getting a little more carbonation with the sugar. I like a lot of carbonation, apparently. Um, I don't know, I'm going to keep trying it. I'm going to keep using the carbonation dots, too, because if something comes with me, you know, that's free, I save on my sugar or I save on my carbonation dots, either way, I'm going to use it. Both taste great. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is every time with Mr. Beer carbonation's been perfect. It's just been, you get that crisp psh, sound right as soon as you open it. Let's, let's uh, pour some in here. Be careful with this pour, because this thing has a head to it. That's one thing, too, with the sugar. I'm getting a better head to it, I think. I don't know. Well, that's a ridiculous head. Could have poured that even a little slower, maybe. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see that? And this beer looks, looks absolutely beautiful. Um, absolutely clear and beautiful you can see um can you see that all the carbonation this is fantastic it looks great as always i think it smells like the lager every beer i'm like hey, it smells like the lager um canadian blonde smells like the lager uh, i'm just pouring a little bit here and i'm gonna let this settle down and i am really excited to try this um, so today i've been drinking canadian blonde a couple of the um Irish Stouts, St. Patrick's Irish Stouts, and I have to say, they're bitter, and it's not my cup of tea normally, or my, my mug of beer, but I, I do like them, um, I've grown to like them, my buddy who was drinking them, my neighbor, he loved them, he drinks Guinness all the time, absolutely loved them, so, uh, I guess it's what, you know, whatever's for you, and, uh, but I like these light beers, and, uh, let's give this a taste, shall we? Cheers. That's spot on. That is good. Um, yeah. Mm. This is what I think of when I think of a cerveza. You know, when I think of a Corona or something. Uh, a little different than the American, say, lager. You know, uh, it's not... You get a little bit of taste up in the front more. Um, I don't know if that's hops or... I don't know what that is, but... You get almost a little bit of bite right at the first where the lager, you kind of drink the lager, it's soft and you get the bite right at the back. So it's just like, it's the same amount though. It's a nice easy to drink. It's just when you get the bite to it. And this, this, this is not bitter at all. Yeah, that's really good. You know, I would place this, um, so smooth and this one actually is fairly, um, I know they're all being used with ale yeast. This one is fairly clear by my standards. I don't really worry about clarity that much. I don't cold crash. You can see the nice carbonation. Um, the head, I didn't watch the head, but it kind of, there was a head there that was a good size, too good, and then it quickly went away. Not a lot of light lacing, but the flavor is really good. Yeah, okay, this is very good. And I think I like this better than the American Lager. I don't like it as much as Canadian Blonde. I like it more than the Irish Stout that I had. And I like it more than the Bewitched Amber Ale. So if I had to put them in order so far, what I've made, I would have Irish Stout on the bottom, but that's not to say it's a bottom beer. It was very good, um, as my neighbor found out. It's a very good replication of a Stout or like a Guinness. Um, but that's not my typical thing. So I would have that. I'd have Bewitched Amber Ale. Then I would have American Lager, which I really liked. I mean, I really liked that one. 
then I'd have this, which I really like this one. Oh yeah, that's good. I'll be brewing this all the time. And then I have Canadian Blonde. And that just blew my mind. That is my beer right now. We'll have to see if anyone can knock it off. But this, that's Tex Cerveza. Uh, and this is just a standard kit. It's not the, um, it's not the deluxe, but it is delicious. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. Get some.